got a love like Jesus did. You've got a love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You gotta play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Jesus showed us how to live, to reach out and to give, to welcome those that we don't know. In loving, we will grow. You've got a love like Jesus did. You've got a love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You gotta play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Jesus loved all those he met. He never did forget all those frightened, hungry, or poor. God's love is there for all. You've got to love like Jesus did. You've got to love like Jesus did. Come on and open your heart. You gotta play your part. Come on and love like Jesus did. Hello, welcome to Children's Liturgy for the thirtieth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today. Jesus gives us the greatest commandment. What is it? You'll hear about it in the gospel today, but let me tell you. Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love God with your whole heart, your whole soul, and your whole mind. And to love God your neighbor as much as you love yourself. Think about that. What's the key word there? Love. Love God completely, totally, absolutely. And if you love God, then you will love others because we are all God's children. And very importantly, you must love yourself. So we'll talk more about that after the gospel. And let's bow our heads now for the opening prayer. Our response to each short prayer will be, How great is your love, O Lord? How great is your love, O Lord? You want us to love you with all our heart, soul, and mind. How great is your love, O Lord? How great is your love, O Lord? You want us to love others as we love ourselves. How great is your love, O Lord? How great is your love, O Lord? You want us to follow your commandments. How great is your love, O oh Lord? How great is your love, O oh Lord? Now let's light our candle and begin our scripture readings. In today's first reading, St. Paul congratulates the people of Thessalonica for setting an example of faith to the rest of the world. Brothers and sisters, when we told you the good news, it was with the power and assurance that come from the Holy Spirit and not simply with words. We knew what kind of people we were and we helped you. So when you accepted the message, 
you followed our example and the example of the Lord. You suffered, but the Holy Spirit made you glad. You became an example for all the followers in Macedonia and Achaia. And because of you, the Lord's message has spread everywhere in those regions. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm today is, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord God, and you make me strong. You are my mighty rock, my fortress, my protector, the rock where I am safe, my shield, my powerful weapon, and my place of shelter. I love you, Lord, my strength. You are the living Lord. I will praise you. You are a mighty rock. I will honor you for keeping me safe. Your faithful love for David will never end. I love you, Lord, my strength. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them and we will come to them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> In today's gospel, people ask Jesus the most important question he was ever asked. Listen carefully to his answer. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had made the Sadducees look foolish and the Pharisees heard about it and got together, one of them was an expert in the Jewish law. So he tried to test Jesus by asking, Teacher, what is the most important commandment in the law? Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. The second most important commandment is like this one, and it is love others as much as you love yourself. All the law of Moses and the books of the prophets are based on these two commandments. the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You see, in the Bible, there are many, many, many rules, especially in the Old Testament. Some that God gave us directly, like the Ten Commandments, which were given to Moses on Mount Sinai. 
and some that the leaders of the people wrote so that the people could live safely together. Some of them were about what to eat and how to prepare it. Some of it was how to be clean, how to wash, when to wash. And so there were many, many, many rules. And some of the teachers in Jesus's time spent all their waking hours studying the rules and writing down the rules and teaching the rules to everyone. But they forgot about actually living the rules. They forgot that God wants us to love each other. Oh, they knew that loving God was important and that loving neighbor was important and you shall honor your mother and your father and you shall not kill and you shall not steal and all those other commandments. They know, they know them, but they didn't live them and they didn't love each other. And that's what Jesus' message, that's what his whole life was about. It was about loving others. Loving God so much that you would do anything for him. You will give him all your respect, all of your love. Every day you would think of him and try to live the way he would be proud of you for living. And then loving others because you love God, you will love others because we're all God's children. And Jesus didn't forget the very important part of that loving is loving yourself. So God loves each one of us. And we need to love ourselves so that we can love others. You can't give something you don't have. You have to love yourself, love others. And all of that love comes out of the number one, love God. So that's how Jesus told the people what the most important things were. And he wasn't afraid. He knew right away, he wasn't going to say, oh, it's most important that you honor your parents or it's most important that you don't kill somebody. You won't do any of those things if you love others. So love, the number one thing. Now, how can you show your love for God? By saying your prayers, yes. By going to mass, yes by learning about God, by listening to me talk to you about the scriptures, by reading more of the scriptures when you're at home, you have a Bible, a children's Bible, you can read more about Jesus's life. Learn as much as you can about God. Those are ways that you can show your love for God and you show your love for God by loving others. So how do you show that you love others? Yes, by taking care of others. So when you see someone needs help, you help them. When someone drops something, you help them pick it up. When someone doesn't feel well, you say, can I bring you something to make you feel better? Sit down and rest. Think of others that shows love. And how can you love yourself? By taking care of your health, brushing your teeth, taking your bath, keeping yourself clean, combing your hair. Yes, by making sure that you do things that you like to do sometimes and not always just doing what other people want you to do or tell you to do, but do things you like to do. So love God love others, love yourself. All right, knowing that God loves us very much, let us stand and respond to each question by saying, I do. 
Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, and Lord All-Loving? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life? I do. Good. Now, let us show our love for others by praying for them. Our response to each petition will be, hear us, O Lord, <clears throat> for our Holy Father and all bishops and priests around the world, we pray, hear us, O Lord, for the poor, the needy, and all those most in need of our love, we pray, hear us, O Lord. For all the people we know, especially those we find hardest to love, we pray, hear us, O oh Lord. For all the people who are living in war and disasters, who need our help and our prayers, we pray, hear us, O oh Lord. Now, if you have someone or something that you would like to pray for, do that now. We pray, hear us, O Lord. Heavenly Father, you have made us to give and receive love. May we become more and more like your son, Jesus, who loved you with all his heart, all his soul, and all his mind and his neighbor as himself. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I don't have to tell you that this is the week of Halloween, but did you know that Halloween was originally a Catholic church idea? That's right because we have been celebrating the Feast of All Saints on November 1st for many centuries. And the evening before November 1st is December 31st, I mean October, excuse me, October 31st, which is Halloween. Halloween means All Hallowed Evening or Holy Evening the evening before the big holy day for all the saints. And so people started dressing up like their favorite person who had died, their grandmother or their grandfather or their favorite aunt. And they would pray for them and they would have a special meal in preparation for the All Saints Day the next day. And through the years, it developed into dressing up like scary things. But that was the, originally the idea was to prepare for the Feast of All Saints. So you have fun on Halloween. And maybe you've already been to some trunk or treat events where you have already collected some candy. But on November 1st, the day after Halloween, Maybe you and someone you love at home, your mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or someone like that, could do some research, could look up on their phone or their computer, some of the saints. And you could learn some of the stories of those people who spent their lives loving God with their whole heart, soul, and mind and loving neighbor as themselves. We call them the saints and their stories are so interesting. I would love for you to read some of them. Have a good week. Jesus calls us all by name so we can do the same to love each other every day as we follow Jesus' way. Gotta love like Jesus did.
did You've got a love like Jesus did Come on and open your heart You gotta play your part Come on and love like Jesus did You've got a love like Jesus did You've got a love like Jesus did Come on and open your heart You gotta play your part Come on and love like Jesus did Come on and love like Jesus did Come on and love like Jesus did.